Okay, this is the first video on a series on extension fields. We begin with the very first definition of what a extension field is. A field A field E is an extension field of a field F. So we have a field E, it's an extension field of a field F if F is a subset of E and the operations of F are those of E restricted to F. So we have um, a field here and so F is a subset of E and if the operations of F are those of E, where E of course is a field, um, we say that E is an extension field of F. Okay, we get directly into a very important theorem called the fundamental theorem of field theory. Let F be a field and f of x a non-constant polynomial in the ring of polynomials, then there is an extension field E of f, which f of x has a0. So, again, you are here in this ring of polynomials, and you have a non-constant polynomial in this ring of polynomials and if well if you have a zero in this ring of polynomials done uh, if you don't have a zero here in this ring of polynomials what the theorem says is that there will be a extension field E, an extension field of the ring of polynomials, where f of x will have a, a zero here. And this extension field, there will be some x prime value where you will get a zero here in the extension field for any ring of polynomials. Okay, this theorem is very important, so we are going to provide a proof for this. Okay, so the ring of polynomials is a unique factorization domain, right? So, um, f of x, the polynomial that is in the ring of polynomials, um, will have an irreducible uh, polynomial, right? So it will be something like p of x times g of x, okay? So we only need um, to construct a, an extension field, E, where this p of x, where this p of x, that's what we need. This p of x has a zero. So we have here, right, in this ring of polynomials, and we need the extension where f of x will have a zero. f of x or p of x in this case, okay, because f of x will have an irreducible factor. Okay, so what is our candidate to extension field? Well, obviously, our candidate will be the ring of polynomials division by p of x, right? So, we already know that this is a field. You can check that in one of my previous videos. Is that video where I prove the theorem that says if p of x is irreducible, it implies that the, the ideal generated by p of x 
is maximal. And this, th in this theorem as a corollary, it was corollary 1, that the ring of polynomials, the ring of division of polynomials by the, the ideal is a field. Um, and there was a second corollary, something that said um, something like it was a sort of a corollary to if p of x divides a of x times p of x, then it implies that p of x divides a of x or p of x divides p of x. Okay, so in our case, we know that this extension field, um, this is our sort of candidate. Okay, our candidate for extension field E, and this ring of polynomials, the division by the, the ideal, uh, by this corollary, um, <coughs> we know that this is, is a field. Uh, <coughs> I think it's also obvious that this mapping phi taking from the field to the extension and given by phi of a equals a plus the um, ideal generated by p of x. Uh, it's pretty clear that this is uh, one to one, okay, and that it preserves uh, both operations. So, uh, and since this is true, so, uh, so this is the extension, right? And this is F, the field, right? And since this is true, it's more or less obvious now that E will have a subfield isomorphic to uh, F. Okay. Okay. If 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 you look at this as um, the only subfield might be F. Okay. We may look at E as containing F if we simply identify all the, the cosets A plus the generate the ideal generated by P of X with the, the unique coset representative A. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, all this is very beautiful, but we still have to prove that f of x has a zero. Then there is an extension field E of the field f, which f of x has a zero. We already have an extension field, this one, right? We already have the extension field, but we still have to prove that f of x has a zero in this extension field. Okay, in order to show that p of x has a zero, let us say that p of x is the polynomial a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1, etc. till a zero. So in the extension field. So as we have seen in previous videos, in this extension field, uh, x plus the generator of the ideal this is a zero. Uh, we have seen that before, but I can I can show you again. Okay. So we need p of x plus the generator, the ideal generated by p of x, right? So I have to put this inside here, right? So there will be a of n, this a of n, x plus the ideal generated to the power of this n, right, etc. till a0. So to the power of n you're going to get this, right, this is pretty obvious because a n is a n is the coefficient and this is x plus p of x times um, x plus p of x, right, uh, n times, so this will be this x, x to the power of n plus p of x, right? I think this is pretty obvious, do not forget 
we are in uh, integral domains, right? So, okay. So now, <clears throat> uh, since this is true, we will end up to a n um, x to the power of n plus the generator a n minus one, etc., till a zero. So here, uh, this one will multiply this one. So we have here and of course plus the generator okay so all the coefficients plus a0 and plus the generator okay this is an integral domain okay but what is all this all this is nothing else but this because this is the polynomial so all this is p of x plus the idea generated by p of x. So p of x here, well, this is redundant. We don't need this, right? This is zero here. So zero plus uh, p of x. Okay. And this concludes the proof because p of x has a zero here. So we just proved that if f is a field and f of x a non-constant polynomial in the ring of polynomials, then there is an extension field E of F which F of X has a zero. So if a polynomial has no zero in a ring of polynomials, there will always be an extension field where it has a zero.